Welcome to a lesson on conceptualizing multiplication and division of integers using color counters and the language of copies. We'll begin by considering the product three times two equals six. One way to understand this product is to think of this as meaning three copies of two is six. Using color counters, below we do have three copies or three groups of positive two, which we can see is positive six. Now that we understand this product, every product has a corresponding quotient. Three times two equals six corresponds to the quotient six divided by two equals three. Six divided by two is asking how many copies of two are in six, the quotient is three, because there are three copies of two in six, which we can verify from the model below. Now let's consider the product three times negative two equals negative six, which means three copies of negative two is negative six. Using the color counters, here's our model for three copies or three groups of negative two, which once again we can see is negative six. The corresponding quotient for three times negative two equals negative six is negative six divided by negative two equals three. Negative six divided by negative two is asking how many copies of negative two are in negative six. The quotient is three because there are three copies of negative two in negative six, which once again we can see from the model below. So if we understand these first two examples, we will now try to extend this idea for two more products and their corresponding quotients. Here we have negative three times positive two. We will view this negative as the opposite and rewrite this product as the opposite of positive three times positive two, which equals negative six. The product in this form can be viewed as meaning the opposite of three copies of two is negative six. To model this product, let's first review three copies of two. We saw earlier three copies of two is positive six, but we want the opposite of three copies of two, and therefore we would take this model and change the sign of the chips or flip them over, which would give us six negative chips. Here's a model for the opposite of three copies of two. The corresponding quotient is negative six divided by two equals negative three. Negative six divided by two is asking how many copies of two are in negative six. The quotient is negative three, which we will view as the opposite of three because there are the opposite of three copies of two in negative six. And for our last example, we have negative three times negative two. Again, we'll view this negative as the opposite rewrite this product as the opposite of three times negative two, which equals positive six, because the meaning of this product is the opposite of three copies of negative two is positive six. To model this product, we'll begin with three copies of negative two. So here's three copies of negative two, which we can see is negative six, because we want the opposite of three copies of negative two, we need to change the sign of these integer chips or color counters and therefore they all become positive. Here's the model for the opposite of three copies of negative two, which we can see is positive six. And then finally the corresponding quotient is positive six divided by negative two equals negative three. Six divided by negative two is asking how many copies of negative two are in positive six. The quotient is negative three. And again, we'll view this as the opposite of three because there are the opposite of three copies of negative two in positive six. Hopefully you found this lesson helpful in conceptualizing multiplication and division of integers. To conclude, the formal rules for multiplying and dividing integers are the same. When multiplying or dividing two integers with the same sign, the result is always positive, and when multiplying or dividing two integers with different signs, the result is always negative. I hope you found this helpful.